The following common cartridge demonstration will highlight how the Louisiana Community and Technical College system is leveraging the IMS common cartridge interoperability specification and custom publisher courses to support system-wide e-learning initiatives. IMS would like to thank LCTCS Online for providing us with their custom course developed and packaged in common cartridge by Pearson. This course is currently offered through the LCTCS online program and is in the subject area of Introduction to Corrections. Now for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll focus on three key areas. The first will be to import the Pearson Custom Course developed in Common Cartridge for LCTCS Online into four learning management systems. From there, we'll demonstrate the integrated learning environment created and enabled through the use of Common Cartridge, and then we'll highlight specific learning tools and rich content integrated into the learning environment through the use of Common Cartridge. We'll start our demonstration by importing uh, this Common Cartridge into four learning management systems, including Blackboard, Desire to Learn, Moodle, and Angel Learning. And IMS would like to thank the Lone Star College Online, LCTCS Online, uh, the Tennessee Board of Regents, and Blackboard for providing IMS with access to their learning management systems to support this demonstration. In the interest of time, the Intro to Corrections Common Cartridge has been preloaded in all four learning management systems. There has been no manual manipulation of the course content post-import. So what you will see is the course as it appears directly upon completing the common cartridge import. So what you're seeing here is the uh, Moodle environment displaying the Intro to Corrections uh, course content, or the complete course, if you will. Uh, and again, this is the view directly after common cartridge import. And what you can see here is that all 12 uh, lessons have been imported successfully, including all of the associated multimedia, extra, extra assignments, uh, various quizzes associated with these lessons, and all of the content is structured as according to the Common Cartridge uh, structure, which is defined by the IMS Common Cartridge Manifest. And if I just scroll down here, you'll see that the structure is maintained throughout uh, the, cro the uh, course files and so forth, and that we have all 12 um, learning lessons. Okay, so let's move on to Blackboard. And what you can see here is post common cartridge import, uh, similar to Moodle, uh, we have all 12 learning lessons identified. They've all been imported. They've all been structured uh, according to the Common Cartridge Manifest. Uh, everything looks nice and neat, and if we click on one of these lessons, we'll see that we have access to the lesson, lesson objectives, checklists, uh, audio lectures, discussion forums, and the associated quiz. Uh, just as we did with the Moodle instance. Now if we switch over to the Angel Learning environment, we'll find that uh, the Common Cartridge import was successful in this learning management system as well. You can see that we have all 12 lessons identified uh, in the course documents. And if we click on any one of these lessons, we'll have access to the various uh, learning activities as well as uh, uh, the quizzes, assignments, discussion forum, and so forth. And let's switch over to the Desire to Learn learning management system now. And we'll also find here that the Common Cartridge import was successful here as well with all 12 lessons identified uh, and all of the associated uh, quizzes, assignments, um, lectures and, and various other learning aids are included uh, in the course structure as well. And you can see here we have all 12 of our lessons. So what we can say at this point is that 
we were able to successfully import the intro to corrections common cartridge developed by Pearson into four learning management systems. Uh, and this success was defined by the ability for, uh, of each of the learning management systems to successfully import and display and provide access to all of the course content provided in this course and as defined by the common cartridge. So let's head back to the LCTCS online Moodle instance and take a look at how Pearson leverages specific features of the common cartridge to create a highly interactive course. And now it's important to note here that common cartridge includes the IMS question and test interoperability specification. Basically stated, QTI enables cartridge developers to package and distribute assessment items in an interoperable format. So when common cartridge compliance systems import a cartridge with QTI assessment items, they retain the integrity and structure of the assessment item as intended by its creator. So if we move down to one of our quiz items here that was developed using the IMS QTI specification, we preview this assessment. We find that the assessments uh, designed using the QTI specification have all imported correctly. They're nice and neat. They're crisp. Um, they're multiple choice. And as we check off each of our answers here, we're given uh, interactive feedback as to whether or not uh, we have answered the question correctly or incorrectly. And in this case, I've answered two questions. And uh, they've been graded, and I've been provided instant feedback letting me know, the student, that I've answered uh, one out of two questions correctly. The interactivity and instant feedback are important characteristics of QTI assessments uh, as they provide instant feedback to the student and help him or her to focus and continue to study concepts not yet mastered. Uh, the assessment feedback is also captured for the instructor's review enabling the instructor to intervene when and if needed. Common Cartridge also enables the inclusion of HTML and web links as resources. Web links are a very effective way for publishers to provide access to remotely hosted content and learning applications. This approach eliminates the need to create and distribute huge Common Cartridge files and it also ensures that the end user has access to uh, the most current version of uh, learning applications and other resources without the publisher having to redistribute this content each time it is updated or modified or a new version is released. So let's take a look at how web links are used to create a more interactive and engaging learning environment for the student. So associated with this course, Introduction to Corrections, uh, are a number of assets, multimedia assets, that the students can leverage to better grasp concepts associated with each of the lessons. So for example, the first lesson is around correctional options. And here we have a multimedia uh, activity that allows the student to explore certain concepts associated with alternative programs for offenders. The student would then uh, study these concepts and then move on to an activity. And this activity uh, provides examples of how certain uh, um, sentences are rendered. And it takes a look at the various um, sentencing options that a judge has uh, to render for, for a defendant. And you can see these various options as I scroll along here. What the activity then does is it brings us to a, a practical application of one of these um, options for rendering sentence. And what we'll do here is we'll click on what is the principal role a halfway house plays for probationers and for parolees. We'll then be brought to a practical example uh, using video Probationers are usually first-time non-violent offenders, 
and the role that the halfway house plays is that the judge will typically sentence in a also associated with uh, uh, our multimedia assets that are uh, accessed through the web links, which were defined in the IMS Common Cartridge, uh, are additional videos providing practical uh, experience and insight related to correctional options. I know the public or who hold me accountable because I'm the elected person, but uh, I tell our staff all the time. That and again, throughout this course, there are various multimedia assets that the student can leverage uh, to better gain uh, a grasp of the various concepts associated uh, with this topic. An interesting form of corporal punishment was referred to as the ducking stool, or sometimes the dunking stool. Women were the most common... This illustration shows the branding of a man in colonial times who has first been placed in a pillory. Although freedom of religion was one of the reasons many people... So that gives us an idea of how the uh, web links can be used to increase the interactivity associated with a given lesson, as well as create enhanced learning environments uh, for students to better grasp concepts associated with a given topic. In addition to the multimedia assets that we just reviewed, uh, each of the lessons in this course includes a similar structure, including lesson objectives, a checklist, which basically provides a pathway for the student to be successful in grasping the concepts in this, in this uh, specific lesson, as well as an audio lecture, uh, as well as a uh, discussion forum. There are assignments for students. And each lesson ends with a chapter quiz or lesson quiz. Uh, and we've already demonstrated how the quizzes work using the QTI interoperability specification. So, that concludes a demonstration of how Common Cartridge is being leveraged at the Louisiana Community and Technical College System online. If you're interested in learning more about IMS and the Common Cartridge, visit the Common Cartridge webpage provided in the slide. If you're an institution interested in implementing Common Cartridge, get involved with the IMS Campus Program. The IMS Campus Program is open to K-12 and higher education institutions. Uh, this program provides guidance to institutions who are serious about implementing IMS standards. As a participant, you can receive guidance from peer institutions and IMS staff to help you plan and implement the various learning technology interoperability standards offered by IMS. This program also offers a forum for uh, participating institutions to collaborate and address shared standards adoption challenges. So check out the IMS program webpage, read through the case studies, and get involved. We look forward to your participation.